Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing another review of Donna LaPere. I have a brand new wig here. However, what's different of this review is that we're gonna talk about the quality, but since I already have talked about the quality of another wig, uh, I also wanted to do something extra. So I'm gonna show you a couple of hairstyles that are easy and that I like to do with wigs as a complete, complete amateur. So as always, this is the box. Once you open it, you have the wig here, a brush here, and the head cap under, as always. So let's open her up. I haven't worn her, I just cut off the lace, so. So this is what she looks like. She is long, and I don't know if you can tell, you probably will be able to tell more when I wear it, but it is well layered, so it gets nice and thinner towards the end, which I think makes it look far more realistic. For this video, I'm not gonna be putting any baby powder or concealer on the roots because I wanna show you it as is, no modifications whatsoever, okay? The more you wear it, the more the curls will drop and I think look more realistic to what actual hair is like rather than synthetic. Okay, I'm gonna put the wig on and be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I put it right on. I feel slightly crazy because it is pretty big. What I would do is potentially thin it out because this is a lot of hair. Um, however, I'm really impressed with the roots. I didn't do anything there. I didn't pluck or put concealer or anything. I'm pretty impressed with how the parting is, is far enough, but not too far where it looks kind of like something's wrong there. In terms of this hair, um, because it is curly, I feel like it won't knot as easily as straight hair. I don't know why I've always noticed that on these wigs, on all the synthetic wigs I have, straight hair is the worst. Um, in knotting. Uh, this feels really nice. It is thick. I really like how rich the color is and I like the curls too though like I said it is layered and the curls will loosen out as you wear it more and more which is something I think will look a lot better and less crazy. I also think a big factor here is straightening it and I know that you can straighten these wigs so straightening it a bit up here to make it appear flatter so it doesn't seem too voluptuous and weird and wiggy, really. Um, anyways, let me go ahead and show you a couple of hairdos I like to do. Um, they're all super basic because I'm basic in terms of wigs. So the first thing I like doing is putting on beanies because that's a really easy solution but there's no need to show you because it's not hard. Another thing I like doing is doing like a little kind of half ponytail, like a half up half down thing, so I'm gonna do that now. Okay, you do that for some reason, it always looks more natural to me. So you have less like crazy volume like right here. And then this is what it looks like from the back. So it's nothing crazy, but I do think that that makes a huge improvement usually than just like straight down, especially if you haven't really adjusted it to make it look more realistic. Okay, another one I really like doing is this one with the bobby pins, let me show you. So I don't know if you can see that really well at all. Okay, so when you put the bobby pins, at least it helps it keep it down a little bit, which I really like. Obviously the bobby pin one is also cool if you wanna tie it or do a French braid or any type of braid. I feel like it looks really cool, but I don't know how to do that, but I do really like the bobby pins in terms of making it flatter, especially if it is voluptuous like this one. Okay, so then my last hairdo that I like to do with wigs is this one. So it's just pretty much pigtails. I like doing pigtails because it decreases the look of the volume, even if you have them thinned it out or anything. Okay, and this is what it looks like when you do pigtails, which I actually think is a really cute look with any kind of wig. So. As you know, I will link my other Donna Love Hair review. Uh, I really like their wigs. I do think that they're great quality. I think that one of the only downfalls, and this happens with a lot of synthetic wigs, is that 
They are extremely thick, which makes them look more wiggy. So I do recommend thinning them out than using baby powder or dry shampoo to make them less shiny and then putting some concealer or foundation up here and maybe plucking, though I do think that up here it looks pretty good already without plucking, but that's really up to you. I really love the color of this wig and I know that here, at least from what I see in the monitor, it's coming up as a lot more bright red than it actually is, but I'll include a picture here of what it looks like on the website so you can see the true color. Um, I also have a discount code with Donna Love Hair, so if you're interested in that, that's in the description bar down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's get right into the fan art.